Hey everyone, welcome to another day of your coach training. I am so happy to be talking to y'all again. And today we're gonna to talk about closing the sale, which can sound kind of scary and a little intimidating as a new coach, but I'm here to teach you how to do that and how to be successful in getting that sale, especially your first one. So first things first, I need you to be confident, confident in your conversation with these people, confident in the program and confident in everything that you say. If you come across nervous or not really sure about the program, it's, they're going to be able to read you. So first things first, make sure you're confident in what you're doing. Also always have a conversation. If someone messages you and says, Hey, can I just have the link? Never give them the link. They're gonna see the price and run. They're not gonna see the value, they're not gonna hear the value from you, and it just isn't gonna happen. Also, never let them have the price right away. You're gonna get people in your inbox all the time with the quick message of, hey, I just wanna know how much. Don't do that because again, they're just gonna run. I always respond with, hey, so good to hear from you. I would love to talk to you about the package options, but can I tell you a little bit about the program and what's to offer first? And they're never like, no, give me the price. Because a lot of times they don't even know what they're asking for or what the package comes with. So you need to have a conversation with them and don't give them what they want right away. So as far as having a conversation with them, it can be along the lines of just finding out their goals. A lot of times people will message me and or I'll message them and I always ask them first if they've if they know everything about the program. So I'm going to use 80 day obsession as an example. They're ready to do 80 day obsession and they're so excited. My first question is, "Hey girl, are you pretty familiar with the program or would you like me to go into detail?" And they always say details please and that's my chance to tell them all about the program how much it's changed my life how much it's changed my challengers lives and so on but you have to be careful because you don't want to word bomb it you want to make sure that you're not writing them this big long story about 80 day obsession you want to make sure it's kind of quick and not too long after that i always ask them if they know what beach body on demand is because people still think there's dvds and with today there's not really so make sure they know how they're going to access their workouts before they invest and so on third i always ask them what their goals are some people are going to come to you ask you know about doing 80 day obsession when really maybe the 21 day fix is better for them so ask about their goals, get to know them, get to know what their lifestyle is like and make sure that the program that they want to do is actually going to be obtainable for them. A lot of the times I've had people reply to me and be like, thank you so much for not giving me the price right away or just sending me a link and actually getting to know me. It made me feel like you weren't just trying to sell something to me. That is the best compliment you can get as a coach. So make sure you're having a conversation with them and that the price is the very last thing that you tell them. You want it to be very last. A quick tip, always end each reply with a, with a question. So if you tell them what Beachbody On Demand is, you want to end it with, does that make sense? Or if they want to know about 80 day obsession, you'll say, is that what you thought the program was? Or do you have any questions about the program before I move on? Let them know that they need to reply to you. If you leave it just with a period, ended with a period, then they don't feel like there's an urgency to get back to you. But if you leave a question, then they feel like they need to reply, right? And so you'll get some people that won't ask for the price and just maybe are a little short or just agree with everything you say, which is wonderful. So if you're ready to tell them the price and you don't really know how because the conversation's over, this is how you close the sale. I always say, do you have any questions before we start the enrollment process? That tells them right there that there is a cost and to, that they won't be surprised. And it sounds kind of professional, enroll, enrollment process. And then they're like, hey, yeah, great. I have a question. How much is it? Perfect opportunity to tell them then. Or if they say, no, I don't have any other questions, then you say, great. So we just have to get you set up with the program to begin. Okay. You want to make sure that you lay it all out for them. You don't want to say, cool, I'm ready to sign you up. You get the Beachbody On Demand Challenge Pack and it's $160. Are you ready? No, you're not giving them any value, telling them anything about the program. So $160 doesn't really seem worth it, right? 
So you have to break it down like as much as possible. I tell them every detail that is in that package that they get down to the paperwork. And the reason is that just shows the value. You really get a lot for your money with these packages, so you have to tell them. I break it down in the sense of, cool, with this package, you will get a ticket into my online accountability group. You'll get me as your coach for whatever, whenever, the color portion controls for our meal plan that will guide you on what to eat and when to eat it. You will also get a month supply of Shakeology, but you can choose to do a performance line instead if you'd rather. You'll get a year access to over $2,500 worth of programs on Beachbody On Demand, and I don't know if I'm missing anything, but you can tell that I say that a lot because people really need to know the value. So after I explain all of that, I say, are you in? And a lot of the times people be like, wow, that's a really great value because I'm really breaking it down for them. I'm not letting them guess what's in the package. I'm not letting them go look it up online themselves and seeing the price and running. I'm giving them the information. They're not finding it out anywhere else. So that is how you are gonna close the sale. Make sure, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that you're confident in your sale. Think about it with a car dealership. If you went to go buy a BMW and the car salesman was like, yeah, it's a good car, but it's so expensive. I know it's expensive. It's, you know, it's a great car, but I know it's expensive. You're gonna probably be kind of turned off, right? Because they're not confident. They're, they're letting you know that they don't think that it's, it's worth it, right? So you have to go into this closing sale confident about the price. Never say, it's $160, and I know that's a lot, but let them know that it, you're so confident in what we have to offer and what you have to offer as a coach, and that they're getting such a great value. And lastly, make sure that you let them know that if they can't join this time, that you always run these groups. So if they reply with, yes, I'm in, that's a perfect opportunity for you to use ShareCart, find out about what Ch Shakeology flavor they want, their zip code, all of that, put it in ShareCart. If they say, that's a great value, but I just can't right now, that's totally fine. Don't leave the conversation and not reply. It's probably one of the worst things you can do. I learned that having people not join me right away is a great thing. And I know that sounds so weird, but sometimes I'm like, cool, because I know you're gonna come back to me when you're ready. As long as I'm consistent and show up in your newsfeed and show up doing these programs, you're gonna join me. Because some people just aren't ready yet. It's not that they don't think it's a good value, they're just not ready, and that is fine. You do not want anyone to join you unless they're ready because they're gonna get through a week and quit. And that's not what you want as a coach. So if they're not ready, accept it. Say something along the lines of, okay, great. I run these boot camps almost every single month and I would love to get you one in the future. Are you in? And they'll say, yes, great. Put my name down for the next one and put their name down on your follow-up list. And next month, look at that. You have another person to check in with and a possible person to join your boot camp. So really don't get discouraged if someone says no. Think of it as, this is a great opportunity for me to have them next month when maybe the next month is a hard month for you. You have that person that trusts you because you've already had the conversation with them and you didn't just ditch them as soon as they said no. So be confident in your, your talking with them, have a conversation with them, don't give them the price right away, never give them a link and show them that you're, you care and that you're genuine and just really be confident in who you are as a coach when talking to these people. And I promise you will close a sale. And if it's not that month, it will be next month.